The ongoing war rhetoric has been further fueled by a vivid demonstration of U.S. military might. Earlier, the biggest bomb to have been dropped in conflict since the Second World War fell in Afghanistan, targeting an ISIL position. The same day, the U.S. Air Force published a report on its successful test of an inert nuclear gravity bomb. The test happened a month ago, but has only been made public now. Also, the U.S. Army is planning to add a new kinetic energy weapon to its arsenal. It's being presented as a tool to counter Russian nuclear technology. Now, what has to be weighed in fielding such a thing is portability, the ability to have something that generates that kind of energy. You can't be lugging this thing around because it's huge uh, in its current configuration. So its ability to be fielded and made operational is many years off. In my view, uh, Russia was put up as the uh, boogeyman in order to justify uh, a lot of the, not only the defense spending, but, it, but to justify that we have to have a, an increased military to the level that we had during the Reagan period, which is uh, unbelievable. And there's a thin line between love and hate, at least when it comes to the American leader and his Chinese counterpart. Donald Trump and Xi Jinping were seen laughing and shaking hands earlier this month, despite the U.S. president's previous hostile rhetoric towards Beijing, while China itself has enjoyed making fun of Trump. For example, the following bird in one of the country's zoos became popular in line for its resemblance to the U.S. leader, while this statue of a giant rooster has become even more of an attraction for its similar hairstyle. And the mass production of Trump masks got underway to satisfy demand. Artisan Li Su reports on how even the Chinese media joined in the mockery of Trump. Before Donald Trump became president, he looked like a man who hated China. They take our money, they take our jobs, they take our base. We can't continue to allow China to rape our country. I don't want China dictating to me. But lately, for some reason, President Trump's been all love for China. The relationship developed by President Xi and myself, I think, is outstanding. We had the most beautiful piece of chocolate cake that you've ever seen, and President Xi was enjoying it. And I think long term, we're going to have a very, very great relationship, and I look very much forward to it. I mean, just check out the luxurious menu the Chinese president enjoyed at Trump's Mar-a-Lago Golf Club last weekend. Xi Jinping got to choose from pan-fried Dover sole and New York steak for the main course. Then, chocolate cake and sorbet for dessert. And there was also a selection of wines. But hold on a sec. Last I checked, Trump was planning to serve Xi some good old Mickey D's. I would not be throwing him a dinner. We've had this conversation. I'd get him a McDonald's hamburger and I'd say, we got to get down to work. Replacing a Big Mac with a steak is far from the only thing Trump has changed his mind on, and the Chinese media is having a field day with it. This headline says Trump ate his own words three times a day, referring to Trump's interview with Wall Street Journal on Thursday. This one went further, saying Trump slapped himself in the face again for changing his tune on Federal Reserve Chairwoman Jeanette Yellen, and more importantly, for not labeling China as a currency manipulator anymore. And of course, just a month ago, Trump accused China of doing nothing about North Korea. But a month later, he's confident Beijing's doing everything it can. Interestingly enough, instead of cheering on Trump's friendlier attitude towards China, there's not much love for the Donald on Chinese social media. This is a disclaimer. After two months of careful observation, it's now clear that Trump isn't a crazy dog like they say. He's just a foolish one. Is Trump a spy sent by Beijing? Trump is a two-faced politician. You can only be a politician if you're capricious. Looks like instead of cashing in on Trump masks, Chinese factories should think about making a profit on Trump flip-flops. A hacker group claims it's leaked NSA spy tools used on PC users. We'll get live reaction after the break to stay with us.